Welcome back into Sports Drive. Once again, I'm Preston Moore, joined again by executive sports producer here at News Channel 10, Alyssa Spangler. Uh, we're going to talk about the big game for both of us. I got so excited. Both of us, very big <laughs> Cowboys fans, uh, and it was a good weekend to a be a Cowboys A great weekend. Um, Cowboys walk into Tampa Bay, where they had been 5-4 and four at home uh, this season. Walk into Tampa Bay and just... I mean, I, I would argue that every single player on the Cowboys played mm -hmm. the best game of their season. Right. Um, almost every single player, at least, except for <laughs> the kicker, <One. laughs> who we can hope that that it does not become a trend. I am afraid of that. That being said, 31-14 uh, victory. Buccaneers really didn't score until, I don't want to call the third quarter garbage time, but it was 24-0 near the very end of the third quarter and you can't ever count Tom Brady out but Tom Brady did not look like Tom Brady in this one he was throwing some bad throws he looked afraid in the pocket he looked rattled mm -hmm. um in this game you had the Cowboys by eight I had the Cowboys by 13 what do you make of this game I mean what a what a what a huge game for the team and for the fans who uh, some of us at least in our generation have not seen a lot of Cowboys playoff success. Right, at all. Or success against Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Ever. Um, We've never had that. Right. 7-1. and one. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I was that's so, right. I was so excited about that. Mm -hmm. No, going into it, I, you know, we talked about it last week. Mm -hmm. We were like, on paper, we're going to win. Right. But I was, we have three weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady, mm -hmm. 49ers in the playoffs, mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. And well, I have to add a fourth now kicking, apparently. <laughs> but those are th historically in my lifetime mm -hmm. and in yours too, mm -hmm. those are our weaknesses. Yeah. So I was like really worried about it going mm -hmm. into it. And then, you know, the first couple of drives just back and forth, you're like, mm -hmm. well, that's not good. I don't know what's going on here. Neither team looked good. Right at all. But then once they really started picking up, mm -hmm. oh, such a good feeling. However, mm -hmm. as a Cowboys fan, mm -hmm. you're trained to be like, I'm not going to get comfortable, though. Yeah, or yeah. anybody watching Tom Brady also. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you know that shot that they're like, if you ever see Tom Brady do this, it's over. And mm -hmm. where he's just, like, mm -hmm. sitting on the sidelines. And I was worried. Literally the whole game I was worried. I was, especially after um, the Trevor Lawrence, like, that whole comeback. Right. I was like, I'm not comfortable and no, I'm not you getting comfortable. You, you can't be. Literally at all. But. It was good to see, especially yeah. a bunch of the players that you wouldn't think, like, I don't know, I don't think about mm -hmm. Curse that often. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them you don't think about, and then you're like, wow. Great, great They did so, mm -hmm. you you said it perfectly, almost everybody had mm -hmm. a wonderful game. Even Van Der Esch, who mm -hmm. I think historically. He's been pretty good this season. Though. Yeah, but he's like great getting hurt. Mm -hmm. He's very prone to injury, and yeah. I thought for sure going into this. Mm -hmm. And then when Micah Parsons was kind of slow to get up, yeah. That worried me. Yeah. There was a lot of worrying, but overall, yeah. it was just really exciting. And it was really funny. The mm -hmm. kicking, it was just funny. Yeah, it, it was funny. And, you know, I really, really hope that that does not Because, continue, that, because that, that won't that fly. Difficult. It won't fly if you're not playing a team that doesn't suck. You, and, have, you have to. If That's the thing. And that's why what I said, you know, I was saying keep him out there. You know, we were up. 18-0, then 24-0, and he had missed his first four extra picks or extra points. And I was like, keep him out there. We're up by 24. Keep him kicking. You know, at this point, <laughs> unless practice. it gets – yeah, unless it gets <laughs> close, you got to keep him out there and keep him going so that he can, you know, get that confidence back. Right. He clearly had the yips. Something was in his head. And when you get that way, it's tough. And you have to hope that this week in practice, he really hones in and focuses so that next weekend – we can forget about it, and it's a one one time thing. Especially after the season he had, he had such a great season. Right, I think he was fifty one for fifty three on extra points all season long. So He'd for only this missed to happen, three. Yeah, for this to happen is 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 really really shocking, unprecedented. Uh, but that being said, again. Cowboys played an amazing game. Van Der Esch uh, led the team in tackles. He's had a great season so far. Mm -hmm. uh, Micah Parsons had his career, his his season high in QB pressures. He was everywhere. Even when he wasn't touching Tom Brady, he was definitely right. rattling that offensive line and scaring Tom Brady, making him you know move around in the pocket more than he's used to having to move around. 
Tony Pollard played great. Even Tony Zeke came Pollard. in and played well when he needed to. And then Dak Prescott had the game of his career. I feel very vindicated go ahead. by that. Uh, I will go ahead. Before, let's let's go back to last week. I picked the Cowboys to win my 13. And then I said to you, I said, Dak Prescott, I believe I said 300 yards, four touchdowns. Well, I was a little, it was silly of me. I should have said five. I, I, I <laughs> should have known. How silly of me to not to not think he would he would get to five. Uh, but yeah, 305 yards uh, through the air, four touchdowns through the air. And then I said no picks. And I said that, and you said I don't know about that. And I then you're I kind of dumb, Preston. I said that to so many head. people. I said no picks. He's gonna play. He's gonna ball out. And he did. 143.3 passer rating. Um, just really the game of his career. And if he plays like that, if he even plays you know, 70 to 80% of that level for the rest of the playoffs. This is a team that can make the Super Bowl. That being said, we've yet to see if we can keep that up. But really great game by him, great game by everybody all around. Brady looked rattled. Uh, Leonard Fournette was a non-factor, five carries for 11 yards. That was crazy because he ran all over us in our first game. I remember being Mm -hmm. like, why? Yeah, (laughs) I was was particularly impressed – uh, not only with our defense, but with our secondary, with mm-hmm. how thin we are at cornerback. You know, you had guys out there who hadn't started a game. Right. Trayvon Diggs actually didn't play a great I game. I didn't see, yeah. He missed some tackles. He got beat a few times. He He's the one of the only Cowboys that didn't play right. one of their best games of the season. Um, but you had guys like Isaiah Mukwamu, who has not started all season in the slot, playing phenomenally. Deron Bland played pretty well. He did get beat by Julio on that long touchdown. But overall, but it's Julio Jones. So. Yeah, but overall, we're really thin at quarterback. Mm-hmm. Cornerback. Okay. That is our worst position right now mm-hmm. on the field with the injuries they've sustained. And to make the greatest quarterback of all time play the way he did. Um, it starts with the defensive line getting pressure on him, which yeah. they did a phenomenal job. Wonderful. But then those guys, you, you go back lower into the depth chart. Like I said, Deron Bland, rookie, Isaiah Mukwambu hasn't started all season. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even Drayvon Diggs played well. And then you look at Jaron Curse, has had a great season up to this point. Yeah. Uh, and played really well in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, a really great job by the secondary. I think that was the X factor. Uh, when you look at it, because that was, for me personally, that was the thing that totally stuck out as, I don't know that we can stop Tom Brady with this secondary. Yeah. And he was coming in on the streak that he was on, playing the best football of his season in the last five games. So just overall, a really, really great game by the Cowboys. And Brady, maybe done I almost felt bad for him. Like, I was like, this close to feeling bad <laughs> and you know that i don't like tom brady more than anybody i did not feel bad i, I didn't I'll either i was just really close mm. to it yeah. like i've never seen him look yeah. frazzled or yeah. like worried or scared i'm right. used to this like okay i'm ready right and he looked and he had no witch wife to go home to <laughs> <laughs> that's what i kept saying but I, I was really close to mm. feeling bad but i didn't mm. yeah it was it was a just a great game, very very vindicating for me personally as Dak Prescott's number one yeah. fan uh, <laughs> to see him play the way that I know he can uh, in the playoffs on that sort of a stage with all the pressure. Um, it was it was needed, and hopefully Brett Maher can get it under control by next week. We'll talk about next week right after the break. Uh, we're gonna pick all four games of this weekend and see. Who comes out on top this upcoming weekend? And then next weekend, we'll analyze it. So stick around for Sports Drive right after the break. We'll pick all the divisional round games. Stay with us.